everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? This is Olivia, and as you, if you follow me on my Instagram, you would know that my old channel was stolen by a scammer, and this is how my old channel look like now. It's not coloring with Olivia no more. It's changed. The scammer has changed it to coloring and toys, and they upload a new video which is not my uh, styles and I probably think it probably stolen from another youtuber or another person as well however all my old video are still on that channel so I would really appreciate it if you can unsubscribe and report the channel to YouTube and uh, this is my new channel now and you can find the name uh, pretty easy you just type the the name of the channel which is twin win and then just add in the word coloring and you can find it very easily and that is this is gonna be where I post all my new video and all my old video from another from my old channel I already re-uploaded on this channel so I will really, really appreciate it if you can subscribe to this new one so I get back to the video today a long long time ago when I do the coloring in this page from the forest girl and a lot of people a lot of you guys have asked me how did I color in the skirt for the girl because it's look really really nice so today I will show you that you can adding in a very pretty designs with very simple method so as you can see I show you a uh, bags of washi tape and um, you can so a lot of people call usually uh, the original name is washi tape from Japan uh, but a lot of people also call it a masking tape I will put the link down below on the description box where you can find them very cheap and um, it usually I buy them from Aliexpress or Wish is take a while to come but they are very very cheap and easy to find and um, there's only concern as you can see this one here is really shiny and you don't want the shiny washi tape or the masking tape because once we're adding on the the washi tape onto the art we want it to have matte texture so we can add in color pencils on top later because you don't want just to look like it just stick on there you want to make it look like it belong to the picture and so i would highly recommend that you don't get the the, the shiny the glossy uh, cover but actually get the matte one and this one is actually really really cheap i bought a bunch of them sometime they sell like two dollar for three or four uh, washi tapes and you can also find some of them from uh, Kmart or Big W or any shop that actually like around your area uh, it probably cannot sometimes they you cannot find a pretty design like a very abstract watercolor style that I use on the girl dress but sometimes these are design that you can find uh, like just like a normal washi tape with a, like a pattern design and I think it look quite great as well and I will show you what you can do with this one so let's guess uh, show you some of the the image the the, the washi tape that I have so here this is a book that I just I call it swatch the L is just like pencil but actually I just stick them on to see what design I have so it's, as you can see the purple in the middle one is what the design I use for the dress and we have a tons of mushroom some like spring designs and you know very very cute and kind of like a um, how would I say like a fancy watercolor style and it's up to you where you can pick I would um, now I would like you to, to show you as 
remember that earlier uh, I show you the picture of the gale but I will show you you can do it with other objects as well so for, for example if this chair of the gale this gale was sitting on uh, I want to make a design for this chair as well and if you are not really good with um, drawing for example and uh, let's say your coloring is your coloring skill is not uh, very good like as like you are a beginner and you want to achieve quite a nice look but you are quite good with crafting then I think this is a great technique great way for you to try something fun and new so let's start with this one so uh, I will use this uh, the moon with some of the bunnies here this washi tape is a blue color and so I quite like it and I just gonna stuck it right on the book now this washi tape is very very soft and it's very very thin so in real life you would probably able to see what the the light art underneath them and the the oh, I can't speak to that can I and as you can see I just lightly cut it and it's already like easy to remove so you know how to press the knife so the knife that I'm using is just a crafting knife so is that called X exacto knife um, so you can find this knife anywhere at the crafting store anywhere at the art store you can find it almost anywhere it's so very easy to to find the uh, only I would um, hopefully you pay attention is when you use a knife make sure you go quite light it look probably quite scary because when you when you first started you probably don't know but just try it on a piece of craft uh, paper or something like that and you would able to sort of like know the presser when you cut and you wouldn't cut through the paper itself so and uh, if you scare you would add in a paper or something underneath of the pie you're working on just make sure it's not cutting through to the other pie would that would like require quite a bit of heavy handle but seriously you don't really need to press the knife very hard at all as you can see uh, I just followed the line and I cut off and I just use some of the pieces that uh, like the leftover pieces and, and I would like connecting them because obviously the washi tape is not like really big sometimes it cannot cover the whole area so you probably have to go back and forth with a smaller piece or another piece of washi tape as well and I'm very very sorry for my head in a way because when I was doing this I was quite concentrated and uh, because of my eyesight I was like oh and once I realized I was like oh my god it was too close to the screen <laughs> but yes as you can see it's very easy to cut um, and I'm not a really good grafter so if I can do this and you can do really good grafting then I'm sure you will be able to do this absolutely very easy and you will not like you will be very surprised with the result that you can achieve with this it's going to be very very good and a lot of people will ask you how do you do that and it's, it's require like no not really much effort uh, it just requires a bit of um, patience and attention because uh, you need to pay attention to where you cut and you know so you're not cutting through the papers and such but it is a very easy process it's very very simple that's all you do you just cutting the paper 
cutting the, the masking tape and as I said it's very very soft and very very thin and if you have usually these kind of washi tape is quite gentle solution so obviously you can see the line underneath um, with this forest book the reason why I picked this forest book for you is to demonstrate because this book the line art is very very faint uh, let's say for Johanna Bafos it's probably a bit easier because her line art is a lot bolder and blacker so uh, you can see through the washi tape a bit easier but for this book you, sometimes it's a bit hard to see but I still can see it pretty well so that's all you do you just add this washi tape anywhere that you think you would like to add um, is you can also choose uh, kind of like the compositions of the design that you want in onto like each area if you want the rabbit in the middle then you move it a little bit and then you just adding some more on the sides adding some more washi tape on the side and the one tip that I would give you when you buy um, washi tape online the masking tape online is to pick something sort of like very illustrative and not so much detail so in that way when you do like let's say like a dress or like a chair that I'm doing uh, because you have to connect sometimes as I say the washi tape can be quite small and the space is very big so obviously sometimes it's a bit hard to cover the latch spray with just one one time so you have to go over it like connect it a few times like I'm doing here and if you get a design that quite detailed let's say like if you get a detail that have a, a drawing of the gale or something on there when you connect it down you can see it more obvious obvious that you are connecting that these pieces is actually connecting and it's not like one piece and I want to say it look bad but it's not gonna be look as natural and as nice as like you draw it there so that is only my tip when you picking the washi tape because oh if you fall in love with washi tape and you go you start your journey into the washi tape world it is very very difficult choices to pick washi tape when you buy online because there is so many designs there is so many things to buy there is something very very pretty and um, it's not just to adding in designs as well sometimes let's say you would you don't know how to draw a mushroom but you would like to add some mushroom onto the page for like extra interest then you can cut sort of like cut the design cut the mushroom off the washi tape and stuck on the thing so this washi tape is not very sticky that's why it's easy to peel off but it's actually um, sticky enough to stay in your coloring book for a long time if you not take it out and like uh, just leave it on the sun or on the wind even if you hang it uh, if it's inside a frame it will be okay too and now as you can see I gonna add in some of the pencil. so I would highly recommend you use a Prismacolor because Prismacolor is a lot more opaque so it gonna stay on top a lot nicer than the polychromo so it picks any of your pencil that is waxy uh, sort of um, texture so waxy base and as you can see now I because when I cut sometimes I cut it off a little bit and it show the the, the spy underneath the paper underneath so I just gonna add it in uh, some color so when you pick color to go on top of this washi tape to adding highlight and shadow I would highly highly recommend you adding in the similar color with your washi tape so here I add in some turquoise and the, uh, the, the I think it's called indigo blue and of course black as well so 
I just go in and then I just go shading them just like how I usually would with I'm gonna just color in with just pencil the only difference is you already have the design and all you do is adding in the shadow and highlight and uh, if you pick if you're lucky and you have the color that quite close to the color of the design then it will like emerge into the design and it not show so much for me um, I get I have been very lucky with the color if you have the 150 color from the Prisma color then I I would assume that any design what should have you have would the Prisma color will have the the the, the thing the, the color that's suitable for it and as you can see because the design will cut off and it look like it's connected so I just use this uh, brush and green and I just adding some like <laughs> to make it look like it connected and then just adding the moon back with the post cabin uh, because I just want to bring out the design a little bit more because when I adding in the pencil it dull the the yellow there a little a lot so I just wanna add it in a little bit and I sort of like connecting them to make it look a bit nicer and it look like it's belong to each other and it's not just cut up and this is a really simple trick but I would think it works for everything uh, when in doubt I use white gel pen that is me if you follow me you would know I love gel pen I will use them on anything and then you can see like between the line where it cut off I just adding some dot there and it give you the the illusion that it is one piece it's not just cut off and I think I really love this design on the chair I think it's make it look so nice and dreamy I actually want a chair like this and uh, you can fix some uh, again fix some more with your pencil just make it as much as you happy just uh, when you go with the pencil on top don't press it too hard especially where uh, especially right where the edge so just make sure it not peel off uh, even if peel off you can just press it down it's not too bad and uh, yep the I were cutting like over cutting so I just peel the whole piece up and then uh, I just color the whole chair and with the prisma color um, if you want the combination it's really simple I will put it down the description below it's actually quite simple to do this chair and yeah here you have it the a very very simple and nice and you wouldn't know that I use washi tape you would thought that I draw that <laughs> I trick you <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it was really fun and I like it. So now Because um, we do the chair already. I will show you how I do a dress because with the dress um, I wouldn't say it's different, but it is a little a little bit different because with clothing you have to adding in like the full shadow so it quite easy as well it's just not as easy as the when you're adding in like objects and stuff and I'll pick this girl out um, and I wanna make her because she look like dreaming and sleepy so I thought I gonna add it in uh, the uh, like a galaxy planet design but the planet the washi tape that I have the planet is not a dark color it actually like a quite pastel color and I think it's look very dreamy and I think it will fit with her clothes and dress very well and again uh, we just do it with the, the character it's gonna be have quite a bit to cut because you have to cut around the hand and the book and the hairs and I would highly recommend you don't cut around the hair if the hair is not too much cover it if it's a large piece of hair and it's a lot of hair then I would 
highly recommend you cut the washi tape around it so the hair can be short and you can color the hair more easily but in this case the girl hair is not that much on her front chest it's actually just um, very a few of the strain uh, hair strain so I just leave it instead of cutting the washi tape out because when you do for me is really difficult it's not really difficult but it's more a, a bit of challenging when I do like a curves cut if you are a grafter let me know is there any trick when you do with this uh, grafting knife that you can cut on the curves a little bit more easier and as you can see when I cut it I use the uh, when I finish cutting it I use the tip but so I see I use the tip to kind of like lift up the washi tape and it's peel off easier then you use your nails and like kind of scratch it off and here I was done with the with the glaze I leave the top bit because I want to make it white and as you can see the hair I just cut a, around the hair a little bit where it's like really thick the rest I don't really cut it because as you remember we can go over with pencil and see this washi tape a very light color um, and if you want the hair is like a black color it's really easy to go over with the pencil so no need to worry and again I pick uh, remember there is some area that I didn't put the washi tape over because I just think it's too much trouble to cutting around it so I just leave it a little bit of area would make so much different like not noticeable so I just use the similar color as the washi tape and then just adding it in instead of like cut the actual washi tape because it's too much trouble for me and you wouldn't really able to notice this and here as you can see I just adding in the hair for you and it look just exactly like the same like when you don't have the washi tape over it's just very similar because these are the hair that like only a few hair that like just fall down in front of her chest it's not like a big waves of hair so I think this way is alright uh, to adding in this way if you have a lot of hairs or a lot of object like let's say I have to cut out the book shape and of course her hand yeah so if you don't have a lot of object don't worry about it it would it should be fine and you can still able to add uh, pencils on top now I'm gonna go over the, the clothes with some of the colors I choose a uh, brush the indigo blue again for the sleeve and for the hair body as you can see I go in first with my um, really light blue I would highly recommend you testing the color from light to dark first you go in with light color first if it's not enough value for you if it's not bring out enough shadow or highlight then go with the darker color just gradually go darker don't go so dark at the beginning as you can see I didn't go with the that was a non photo blue because it's quite light and it wouldn't meet my require for uh, and achieve such a darker shadow so it can bring out the detail of the dress and it doesn't look like she's just wearing a piece of sticky tape so I go with the uh, the indigo blue so usually for clothing I would like these uh, the, the glow folds I would like the color that is very similar to the color theme that you have on the washi tape so for this one we have quite a bit of blue and green so you can either use blue or you can either use dark green so here in uh, the easiest way if you don't have the color that similar to the washi tape that you have you can go in, in with a cool gray or warm gray and that is what I did with for the top of her for the the front the, the top bit 
say when I adding in the the sleeve the fold for the sleeve and the shadow and yeah so that's where I adding in the gray color and I just color in normally with the top bit of her skirt and I think it turns out quite nice with this design I would like to have more a bigger selection of washi tape so I can pick it out easier but it just uh, I sometimes I I don't know I just forgot to buy it I put it in the cart but then I forgot to buy it and yeah so I, that is it uh, for this girl another thing that you can do with washi tape oh I forgot to let you know that I already tried this technique on Johanna book uh, Johanna book Maria Jolie like the head cover book so they all work pretty well and there is no cut or none whatsoever on the back of the paper so you can absolutely be safe so it's not gonna ruin your day, your your book only like you have to be very gentle with the knife okay don't press it too hard you will know when once you try it out because it it is truly very thin paper for the the masking tape and it's very very easy to cut through you don't really need to press your hand so much pressure on it and yeah so that is it for this little girl with the dress i actually really like it i think it's look quite nice and dreamy and cool but uh, a flower probably would a flower pattern would probably be nice as well and you can also do with um like a wallpaper style as well you can do wallpaper as well if you don't know what you color for the wall color so yeah that is it we done today i hope you have fun i hope you learn something new let me know if you try them out and i will see you again in the next video in the meantime uh, take care and i will see you very very soon so happy coloring everyone bye